You know, most people say, don't dwell on the past. Well, it's a good thing I'm not most people, so get ready to learn summer of 2022, buddy. Uh, yeah, seriously, though, we're going to look back at Kyle Bush, his free agency debacle. Is that the right word for it? From the summer of 2022, Kyle Bush did an interview today or sometime. It was released today, at least with Jordan Bianchi, and he revealed some details of him and Joe Gibbs Racing parting ways and eventually him ending up at RCR. He had some revealing quotes about the almost deal that happened with Oracle or the they tried to get that deal done with Oracle. We'll talk about it here in a minute. Uh, and then also he has a new sponsor as well at RCR. So he's actually got a couple of new sponsors. We haven't talked about them all, but I guess this is a Kyle Busch filled video. So we'll talk about them all Get ready to learn Kyle Busch, buddy. Uh, that is my, that, I love that meme of the Adam Silver meme. And now it's like translated to 20 different things. I'm sorry if I've overused it already. But anyways, Kyle Busch, let's talk about his new sponsor first. Before we talk about the past, let's talk about the now and the future. My math doesn't add up, I know. Kyle Busch and Richard Childress Racing announced today, or I guess Richard Childress Racing announced a new partnership with Zone. Zone Premium Nicotine Pouches, a new to-market, tobacco-free, and smoke-free experience for adult nicotine consumers, has partnered with Richard Childress Racing to sponsor Kyle Busch and the number eight team in the NASCAR Cup Series. Zone will serve as the partner, the anchor partner for the two-time NASCAR champion. So that's a really big deal. This isn't like some three to four races, you know, running the Daytona 500, well, I think they are also running the Daytona 500, but this is like going to be their primary sponsor the majority of the season. Um, nicotine pouches, uh, make sure you're uh, the legal age before you get them, first of all. Uh, and I don't know what the health risks are compared to cigarettes. I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, but it's a new sponsor for Kyle Busch. It's a new sponsor for RCR. There's always those memes out there because Kyle Busch's sponsors used to be M&M, Skittles, Twix, Snickers, all you know, candy bars. That's what kids eat. And now his sponsors are uh, a nicotine product, marijuana product, and whiskey, an alcohol product. He's he's grown up so fast. Uh, anyways, back to the main thing. It's a big deal, you know. Obviously, that Richard Childress Racing, Kyle Busch have gotten themselves an anchor partner someone to sponsor the majority of the races last year we they had a variety of sponsors which was good but we didn't see like one main sponsor we saw a mixture of 3 Chi, uh alsco bet mgm add that to the you know sports betting to the adult stuff too um and then you know we also saw a couple of one-offs like lucas oil had a one-off uh, we saw McLaren Grills for a couple of races. We saw a wide variety of sponsors for Kyle Busch across the 38 race schedule. Now, it doesn't say how many races, but uh, I'm curious to see. That's a really big deal for Kyle Busch for RCR to get that sponsor. Uh, they picked up quite a few sponsors in the past couple of years that they've been together. Well, I guess it's been like a year and a 10th, maybe a year and a 12th. However, that math works out. Uh, but as I said, some of the sponsors I already listed. And then just this past offseason, they picked up a couple with the Zone sponsorship and then also picking up a whiskey sponsorship as well. Uh, sorry, not whiskey. It's bourbon. My bad. Rebel bourbon. Uh, but yes, Kyle Busch, RCR have picked up a variety of sponsors over the last year or so together. This is going to be year two of their partnership. Of course, last year picked up three wins on the season. Did not quite come close to that championship that fell short in the playoffs, second half of the season, but they had some early success. They had some steps in the right direction, so we'll see how the second year goes. Now, as for Kyle Busch's past, as you can see, I got a Kyle Busch hat on here. This is now a uh, vintage hat. Who would have guessed? Uh, but anyways, Kyle Busch, formerly with RCR, or uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, he's now with RCR, my bad. He was there for 15 years, won two championships with him, won the majority of his Cup Series Xfinity races with that team, and then he left. It was a huge deal, the biggest free agent since Dale Jr., in my opinion, and I think many others' opinion, back in 2007, 2008, somewhere around that time period. But Kyle Busch did an interview with Jordan Bianchi, and he talked a little bit about 
that split with Joe Gibbs Racing. Now, it wasn't, you know, toxic or anything. It wasn't like, uh, you know, there were no headbutting. You know, no one was mad at each other, I don't think. Uh, but it was more about sponsorship. In December of 2021, Mars, who owns Eminem, Snickers, Twix, Skittles, all that, announced that they would be leaving Joe Gibbs Racing. And of course, Kyle Busch, that's the majority of his sponsorship. You always saw the M&M's car. It's an iconic paint scheme. Uh, the Skittles car. All these cars you see every single week. And it's very rare to see a non-Mars car. In fact, you would see interstate batteries and maybe a random one-off. I mean, that's genuinely all I can think of off the top, the top of my head for the Joe Gibbs Racing 18. And then it started in April of 2022 is when it started to be like, okay, where are we with this thing? Because no one said anything. And then Kyle Busch in an interview or the uh, media bullpen at Talladega, he kind of said like, talk to Joe Gibbs about it. They were asking him and he kind of aggressively, not like meanly, but was like, it's not my problem right now. Like talk to Joe, it's on his end. That's kind of what was implied. And everyone's like, something wrong there? Are they not happy with each other? What's up? Well, then it further escalates into there was this oracle deal that fell through and that was kind of it like all of a sudden it you know snow the snowball effect it snowballs into kyle bush joe gibbs racing aren't talking anymore in terms of a future deal kyle bush is looking elsewhere then of course there was the rumors reports about where kyle bush would go would it be colleague would it be Stuart haas would it be other would it be rcr of course it ends up being rcr well, we got some more detail on that Oracle deal that almost happened, and uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Did JGR try it hard enough to sell me? My answer to that is no. I'm being frank, and it might bite me in the butt, but they put all their eggs in one basket with the Oracle deal. And the way the Oracle deal got introduced to us was really, really weird. Oracle had just signed a contract for $500 million or something with Red Bull, the F1 team. So I'm like, there's no way they're going to do a NASCAR deal. Not a chance. So I told those guys, look, you got to look elsewhere. You got to look outside. We got to call everybody else. Instead, they offered me a contract to race there and they weren't going to have sponsorship on the car. But I didn't feel like that was fair for the 15 years that I was there. I didn't want Joe putting his own money into the program. So I decided that it would be better served for me to go somewhere that had a sales team that got sales for RCR drivers, Tyler Reddick and Austin Dillon, and everything else that happened at RCR over the years. I mean, we're still knocking sponsors down, it seems, and bringing them in. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the interesting story there from Kyle Busch, uh, just talking about that oracle deal that what would have happened what could have happened um obviously there's a lot of questions we weren't there in that room with kyle bush with joe gibbs racing with oracle i don't remember the exact timeline of it uh, oracle's been with red bull since the beginning of 2022 uh, so i don't know when these discussions were held but according to kyle bush it sounds like it was somewhere after that deal had been struck so if oracle joined Red Bull in January of 2022, February of 2022, these discussions would have happened in the spring of 2022. And it, it, I mean, it is a little bit weird. They just signed this massive, huge deal with Red Bull, uh, a lot of money with Red Bull. And then all of a sudden, you know, like it, now they want to do a deal with a NASCAR team. And of course, Joe Gibbs Racing, they needed a primary sponsor for the majority of the races. As I said, Mars m and Skittles, uh, Snickers, Twix, whoever it may be, they were on Kyle Busch's car for the majority of the season. That was the major financial backing of the number 18 car, and they desperately needed another sponsor, someone else to step up and take over those races, and ultimately they couldn't find it. They tried with Oracle, but it just fell through. It may not have even been a possibility uh, according to this interview, Kyle Busch tried to talk to Joe Gibbs Racing and say, look, you got to go somewhere else. This Oracle, Oracle thing is not going to work. Like, they just made this huge deal with this F1 team. They're not going to give us this deal. We've got to look somewhere else. Ultimately, Joe Gibbs Racing couldn't find a deal with anyone else. Kyle Busch leaves, and he's now at RCR, and they've got a bunch of different sponsors. Now, as for 3G, we talked about them earlier. 
there was a report that they weren't coming back to Joe Gibbs race or uh, RCR. That would be ironic. And But now there's a report that they're maybe staying with RCR. It's a lot of math. Uh, just look at the screenshots here. I don't know about 3G. They were on the car for a good chunk of races last year. They won a race with Kyle Busch at Gateway last year. Uh, I don't know about McLaren Grills that they're coming back. They sponsored him at the Talladega win. Lucas Oil is stepping up. They're staying with them. Uh, so I don't know the sponsor schedule for Kyle Busch. Sorry, Kyle Busch fans. But uh, yeah, so basically to wrap up this video, the Kyle Busch saga in 2022, the free agency saga, uh, we all remember that well. Of course, he left Joe Gibbs Racing. It was a huge deal. He had been there forever, had so much success, won championships with them. And uh, he left for Richard Childress Racing, sponsorship being the main reason why. And uh, we got a little bit more detail on that today. The whole Oracle deal that didn't happen, that was talked about. And uh, now Kyle Busch has a new sponsor. We talked about it today. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what if Oracle ultimately decided to go with Joe Gibbs Racing? Do you think Kyle Busch for sure, no question, would still be at JGR? Do you think maybe he would have considered going elsewhere? What do you think would have happened if they had gotten that deal done? Um, what if Joe Gibbs Racing looked elsewhere? What if they, kind of like Kyle Busch, looked into that reality like, all right, Oracle's not going to get this deal done. Let's look somewhere else, look at a different sponsor. So uh, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are, but pretty interesting uh, story there. So let me know what your thoughts are, uh, as I've asked you like five times already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.